So Spotify just launched a music career advice platform they're calling like an artist manager in your pocket. And I'm just taking that right from the headline that I saw in Music Business Worldwide. By the way, fantastic website to keep up with the music industry and news and stuff like that. Um, but pretty much Spotify launched a what they're calling a career advice portal, portal that they're calling in focus. So in this video, I just kind of want to take you for a walk through it um, so we can see if there's anything worth worth learning from it um, or if it's just a big pile of garbage. So let's check it out. So you go to your homepage at Spotify for Artists. You're just going to see this big in, explore in focus and find your path to progress. And we'll click explore now. Now, this website looks very cool. <laughs> I will say that you got this cool mouse thing. Um, but let's click explore. They have all these different focus paths. So if you're looking for tips on how to create more music, promote your work, connect with fans, earn revenue, learn to get inspired. Um, since I talk a lot about music marketing on this channel, let's focus on promote your work. See what they have in here. So let's just go through these one by one. So reach your current fans, focus in. All right, so here they're just promoting Marquee. If you're not familiar with Marquee, I do have a video that I'll link here going through it. Uh, Marquee's pretty good if you have access to it. You need at least 15,000 streams from the United States in the past 28 days to, to use Marquee. Um, it's cool, but it, it is like a paid Spotify marketing platform. And here they have a thing they're calling make a promo card. So let's check this out. Promo cards, that's by Spotify.com. I actually don't think I've seen this before. Maybe someone told me about it, but I never used it. Uh, create personalized assets to share with your music with fans on social. I'll search for first. There yourself. I wonder why these other people came up. <laughs> um, cool. Okay. Well, that's neat. Then you can customize it. Uh, oh, I'm do live shows. <laughs> got milestones. So that's pretty neat that they have these different ways to customize it. This actually looks pretty cool. Like, I always just took screenshots from Spotify for Artists. This is significantly better than that. Um, anyway, so that's cool. There's a bunch of different stuff you can do with that. I won't complain about anything there. Get fans excited by talking with them about your new release on Spotify Live. What? What is this? Introducing Spotify Live, June 17th, 2021. Why have I never heard about this? <laughs> Uh, it's a live audio app from Spotify that allows artists and other creators to connect with fans, followers, and friends in the moment. So it's like, wow, what is that stupid social media app that I, I despise? Clubhouse. It's like Clubhouse? Is this... I don't even know any of these services were still around. It's like everyone tried to copy Clubhouse, and then I feel like it just died <laughs> immediately. I, I opened it for five minutes, Clubhouse, and I was just like, I'm not doing this, and then I backed out. Um, okay, I did not I did not know that this was, like, a thing. Um, maybe that's cool if you like that sort of thing. Uh, this is another thing talking about Marquee. See how this person used Marquee. Use artist pick to highlight. So this is kind of, you know bogus information. I mean, it's not bogus information. It's just kind of like, you know, what else is new? I already do this. Artist Pick is a great way to personalize your Spotify profile. This video shows you how it's done. If you're not familiar with Artist Picks, if you go to your Spotify for Artists and then go to Profile, um, I need to refresh my Artist Pick anyways, but I can go in here and I can add a playlist. So I usually put this, this is Andrew Southworth playlist that I made and then say new my music, start here. So it's almost like making a greatest hits playlist so that you can like, if someone comes to your profile and new and they see that, you can kind of walk them through your music in the order you want to walk them through your music on. Um, so that's an artist pick. I think everyone knows about this by this point. Um, now, you can also, I think you can, I don't know if you can link shows and stuff here as well. You, you can do like songs and playlists, definitely. Um, and lastly, we have focus on your followers, one of the quickest ways to ensure your fans stay in the loop. So this is a video, I'm guessing, saying just focus on growing your followers, which is another obvious statement. <laughs> All right, so let's go back here. We're going to look through another category. Now, I want to just point out that I'm not, like, bashing this. Like, a lot of people don't know this stuff. It's obvious to me and probably most of you watching this video. But I think it's good that they have, like, a formal education platform just to teach people the ropes. Um, because... The entire history of Spotify for Artists, it's been, you know, people like me and other people that cover stuff like this have been the ones who teach this stuff, right? Like Spotify doesn't really, they've added a little bit of content over the years, but um, this is an improvement. So now we can also do reach new audiences. So that was just one category inside of the promote your work. 
Um, now, there is something really cool that I played with earlier. I'm not going to go through every single thing in here because you can do this in your own. Um, you know, playlist pitching, your general letters, tools, and resources. I want to show you this fan study because I think it's actually pretty neat. So essentially, this is just a page of a whole bunch of really cool stats from Spotify. So I'll show you some highlights that I think are the most interesting. So number three here, international collaborations. Maybe you're taking to a whole new fan base. Working with an artist from another country doesn't broaden your perspective. It can broaden your international reach. 84% of streams on international collaborations come from outside the main artist country versus 60% for single artist tracks. So this is a pretty cool stat. Fans from Thailand don't keep their favorite songs to themselves. Fans from Thailand share 7.9 shares per person. So if so basically the average listener in Thailand shares eight songs, either on social media or linking to it. Um, that's 80% higher than the global average. So I'm wondering if there's like some something to be said for advertising Thailand because someone who loves your music there is 80% uh, more likely. That's like, you know, almost double, almost twice as likely to share it than the global average. And they're also saying here, add a canvas to your tracks to increase, increase their chances of being shared. So I don't know if they've said this before, maybe they have, but that means adding a canvas must increase the average share rate of the song. Now, another cool thing right after it is that super fans of Germany and South Korea go deepest with their favorite artist, streaming their number one artist 63% and 46% more than the global average. So people in Germany listen to their favorite artist 63% more than the global average. So to me, that means if you get a diehard fan in Germany or South Korea, they're more... I don't want to say valuable, but <laughs> they're more valuable in terms of Spotify streams than the global average, which is which is pretty neat. And now we see some repetition. So this is talking about promo cards, Girl in Red Utilize Marquee. Um, learn how to merge music and gaming to reach new audiences and new platforms. New high score? I have no idea what this is. Merging gaming strategy leads. So there's some really cool stuff in this article. Uh, one thing I just want to point out that anyone can do is they're talking about how something like 3 billion people, 2.6 billion people identify as gamers, right? That's a huge fraction of the world. So, and they're talking about how certain artists like Post Malone and T Grizzly uh, would do gaming live streams just as an excuse to go live and just hang out and chat with their fans. And then they could also talk about music stuff throughout it. But I, they're kind of mentioning that you know, you're not like necessarily a gamer. It's just like playing a game on stream gives you something to do on stream, right? You're not just like going live and just sitting there staring at the camera trying to think of what you might say. Um, you, you're playing a game, right? So there's no like pressure to talk because you're doing something. You can kind of wait for stuff to come in. You can just talk about stuff along the way. So I think that's a cool idea if you're trying to figure out what kind of content you want to do um, and you like video games. Most of your fans probably listen to probably do some type of gaming, right? In, in most cases, if 2.6 billion people identify as gamers, what is that like a third of the world or something? Um, so, you know, a third of your fans probably like gaming. So there's also a really cool article in here talking about TikToks and Reels and social media content. Um, and this seems like a pretty good read. One thing I'm noticing about a lot of the articles that are linked in here is that they're nice and short and they do have some pretty good points. Um, and some of them are obvious, but some of them are actually kind of clever, like the live streaming video games, like pretty clever idea, right? It's simple. It's not something that a lot of people would think of. Uh, let's check out this build your brand thing here. We got something talking about Canvas, talking about getting an image and an, and an artist image, image library on there. Uh, combining music with storytelling to connect with your fans in interesting ways, okay. The innovative content format that brings together spoken word segments and full tracks from Spotify song catalog is now available to artists in 21 countries around the world. So I'm still not 100% sure exactly what this is and how it works, but it seems like Spotify's podcast platform, Anchor, you can actually integrate music from Spotify into Anchor. And so it's like, it's essentially just a podcasting thing, but they're letting you use music from Spotify. And I'm guessing the music's monetized because it's directly on Spotify. So you could make essentially like a podcast and use your music in there and have it be monetized with a listener of the podcast. I think that's what this is, but that's pretty neat. Um, obviously look into this more because I just heard about it, but um, that's a cool find, you know? I'm, I'm kind of glad that that was in here because that seems kind of unique and, and innovative. Um, so yeah, as you can see, there is a ton of stuff in here. And I know I could probably spend another 30 minutes going through this because everything we just did was just in promote your work. Like when you go to the earn, your, earn some revenue category, 
like uh, earn streaming royalties. Like, you know, there's all these different things in here that I, I think it'd be worth most people just going through and seeing seeing what you what you know, what you don't know, and what stands out to you. Because you might find some cool tip that you're like, that sounds like something I could do, right? A lot of people struggle with what, like outside of the ads and stuff, like what types of organic or content driven strategies can you do that you feel comfortable with as a human, right? Like not all of us will feel comfortable making dancing TikToks, right? But you might be able to make a different type of TikTok or maybe you're better blogging or podcasting. And so there's there's a lot of cool ideas in here, I think. Um, and then also there's all the, all the other different categories. So anyways, um, if you found this video helpful, if you wanna see my video on figuring out and cracking the code behind the Spotify algorithm, you can check out this video right here. And if you wanna see whatever YouTube thinks you should watch, you can check out this video down here. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you next video. Bye.